This is a wolf. That's a sheep. And what's up, guys? This is It's Me 64. Welcome back to another, um, you know, map review. Now, today's map is Plants by CubeCraft Games. It's completely free. Um, this is just literally it. I'm creating the world right now. You can find it in the um, Minecraft store as well. It's completely free. And yeah, so this is where we are. Now these are advertisements for um, other things CubeCraft makes. And you should download this map yourself if you want to check it out too. Because I am going to skip a few things. And it is very educational. Oh, Yoinks, you're here! Welcome to my little garden. Hello. I'm happy to have you here. I can't wait to show you around she and talked. teach you she all talked. about plants. Here, oh, Yoinks, me. you're here. Welcome to my little garden. I'm happy to have you here. I can't wait to show you around and teach you about the plants. Here, follow me. Okie doke. Fair enough. She's talking like she's a pig. Bruh. Okay, let's see. And now, as you can see over here, this is a diagram which sort of explains it. Um, and if you want to learn more about this, then I highly Next recommend that you, will find that, the anatomy of a plant. that you um, oh, check cool. this out and download the map yourself. As I said, it's, it is completely free. And next to that, we'll find the anatomy of a plant. Um, which is stem, roots, buds, leaf, and flowers. Pretty simple. I'll meet you in the room, to the, room, room to the left you when you got think head. you've got it all in I your head. I have a small quiz for prepared for you. So, I'm going to take a quiz on this, this, and this. Um, so, in the room to the left, which Welcome is right for your box to the quiz room. room. Are you ready to take ready my to small take my quiz small about the things you've just learned? Things you've just learned? Yeah, I think I am. I'm very ready. I was born ready, even. So, Yoinks, let's start, start quiz. Yoinks, let's start. Now, I'm only going to do the first, um, the first one, and the other ones, um, I'm going to let you do those if you download the map yourself. So, when it's produced during photosynthesis, water and glucose, oxygen, oxygen glucose, or carbon dioxide and water. Now, I know that it's oxygen oh, and glucose. Right. So, Let's um, move on to the next now question. we move on to the next question, which is what is outside, what is the outside of a plant cell called? I'm going to jump cut through this. If you want to take this quiz yourself, download the map. I got Stop seven out of eight it. questions correct. Great. I'll meet you in the room across, in the room from, across from, this from this one, where I'll explain, where I'll explain to you more, to you about, more about plants, how to water how them, to water them and, more and more exciting stuff. stuff. Okay, makes sense. So, go through these doors. The animation of those is on point, by the way. That's great. Right over here, you have some saplings. Here, I'll explain to okay. you how to plant and water your plants. Welcome to the plants first first, room. Here, I'll explain, explain to you how to, how to plant water Use and your... To how to plant and water and your plants. First things first, let me explain how to plant. Use a spawn egg to summon a plant and start its growing process. Now try planting your first plant on that block. Now, by spawn egg, they mean seeds. Um, that's, yeah. So, plant the orchid in the dirt. Next, Pretty you have simple. To water your plant. Um, once a water drop appears, once it needs water, plant, use the watering, watering bucket. To water or, um, yeah, water, watering bucket to give it water. Next, you'll have to water your plant. Once a drop of water appears next to a plant, use the watering can to water it. So, here we go. That's our little plant right there. And, um, yeah. Now we need to wait for a drop of water to appear above it, so that we can water it. Ah, as you see, there's a drop of water. Now I almost missed that because it's a bit high above it. Oh, yoinks! But you can't here forget we go. To give your oh, yoinks! You can't forget to give go your plants some sunlight. So does she mean I need to open these? 
we need to like open these blinds or something? How do I open them? Like they're flashing, like telling me to open them. Oh, it needs water again. There we go. Water it. There we go. This, this is setting this setting is ideal, ideal for your, your new plant. plant. Always try, try to make sure your plant has enough water and sunlight. And so I guess that that's then how it was meant to be, like that. Okay. It looks like you're ready for the big world now. Meet me outside. I'll explain to you the to you last, last things, things you, need to know. you need to know. Okay. Fair enough. So. Welcome Here we are. To my garden. Welcome to my garden. It's, it's exciting, exciting, isn't it? Isn't it? Go, Go ahead, ahead and follow, follow the particles to the last important location you need to know about. Need to know about. After that, you're 100% ready 100 to wander, to wander off, into wander my garden. off into my garden. Okie doke. Follow the particles and meet the gardener to continue. So, this is a really beautiful garden, uh, by the way. Got some trees. They're not like the custom, the types of custom trees we're used to if you watch things like Hermit Craft, but yeah. There are you other custom storage. trees. You, you found my storage. This is, place where this is a place where you, where you can get all the seeds you need to make your little garden. Some As you can, can see, here they all are. Block. It's a whole bunch. Some plants can only be placed on specific blocks. blocks. Try to figure out which ones Don't you can place on what blocks. Don't forget to water your plants fun, and give them enough sunlight. Have fun! After you've figured out how to grow more plants, find and complete four quests that are located in the garden. Note, if you take seeds from the storage, they'll be replenished um, once the barrel is completely empty. So that's fine. For right now, I'm just going to take a few watering cans with me. Since we do need those, now let's um, take a look at those quests. Um, now, this is not a quest, but this is sort of a station. If you download the map yourself, you'll find out more about these, and there are actually a bunch of these. In fact, there is one for each type of seed slash plant, which, as you can see by the storage, is a whole bunch. So, we can take a look at this one. And then we can see that this is lavender. This flower can live for 20 years in, under excellent conditions. It can also be used for medical purposes. So this is the lavender growing area. Um, every time you click on the button on any of these given stations, it'll tell you a cool fact or two about the plant. Now in this station, I could grow lavender. May I want you? Anyways, of course, I'm not going to do that right now because I'm on the lookout for those quests we need to find. As you can see here, we have another one. This one is rose bushes. Roses have thorns all over the stem and normally have beautiful red, yellow, and white. Though roses can have different colors depending on where they are. So, this is the rose planting area and you can plant the roses here. Um, so, yeah. If you take a look at this um, map, it's really designed really nicely. Um, anyways, right over here, we meet our first quest. Start challenge one. Oh no! Oh no! The, the chickens, chickens have escaped, have escaped from their pen. Oh, Could you please help me get them back here, here with some Your seeds? Help really Your help is greatly yoinks. appreciated. Yoinks! So. I know that this is all about plants, but this first quest is sort of weird because we need to get back to chickens. The way you do that is you hold your seeds and you walk into every single chicken you can find. It's sort of a weird concept, but it is really cool because it'll let you explore the entire garden that way. And you do have to end up walking around the entire garden. Um, if you want to actually end up getting them all. Ooh, a chicken just spawned right up there. How am I going to get to that? Can I get up here? Okay, that's physically impossible to get up there, I think. Maybe I can try from the other side? Do you think that would be a thing? Yeah, it's right up there. 
So, oh, you can hop on the melon then over here. Do you think it's intentional that the chickens spawned up here? I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, we got it though. Here is my last chicken. And I, it took me actually a pretty long time to find these. So, if you're having trouble looking for your chickens, then don't really look for chickens, but look out for these particles, as you can see, that are coming from the chickens. Those will help you find them a lot um, easier. Here we go. Chickens, 10 out of 10. That is great. Now, nothing in chat from our gardener. That's okay. So the next one. It's our challenge. The exhaust the fumes, fumes are, are filling up and polluting the, the air. This is not good. We can place some trees to clean the air. I got amazing. you. We can finally see the sky again. Oh, yeah, I need, so I need to place some trees, huh? Plant the pine trees and use a water bucket or watering can to grow them. So, let's place one on each of those. Oh, look at that. They're already growing. It's going to be a pine tree. Look, there's there's also a pine tree. You see that? Or here, here, here. Look. That that that's also one of those pine trees. I think it yeah, you can see. That's a pine tree. It looks it looks a lot like that. Too. Whoa! These bugs are growing fast. Now, do I need to water them? Like, there's no watering thing above them. Wait, you see that? If you look very closely here, you can see the watering symbol from here. But it's inside the tree, so if I'm standing over here, I can't actually see it. Ooh. Yep, so let's water these. Because I need to get watered. But I didn't see that because the watering symbol is like inside the trees. Wow! These things grow crazy fast. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy fast, alright. Okie do. These trees have been grown. Yeah, oh wait, need water again. Oh, here you are. Here you are, and here you are, there. Now they're going to be fully grown. Yeah, assuming now that they are fully grown. Then. Yeah, they, they do look to be, to be around the same size as this one, yeah. So then we need the next quest, but like to be honest, I'm a little bit lost because, um, your exhaustion filling up the air, that's like, I'm not getting anything in chat going like, oh nice, you completed this quest. So I'm just looking around here. Checking if there isn't another quest anywhere. No. Hmm. That's confusing. Very confusing. Cause like I'm now I'm wondering if I complete this quest. Do you need more water? Nope. Oh wait, they're only one block tall. So if they're only one block tall. Hey. I'm a tree man. I'm a tree guy. That's funny. Okay. Well, I'm assuming that's a quest completed. Now I need to search for the other quests. <laughs> they they added ladders here so you could get out. Um not 
entirely sure where the other quests are. Ooh, 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 look, I found the other like, quest challenge thing. Let's see. Ah, uh, yoinks! Uh, All the fishes, fishes have disappeared, have disappeared the because the water on. mill is gone. Are you able to help me find the water mill and, the water mill and place it back here? Thank you so much, yoinks! Thank you so much, yoinks! And that's a typo probably. Collect all the parts that are scattered around the garden to rebuild the water mill. Ooh, so it's like the chicken thing, right? I'm gonna guess that's what it is. Like there's a there's it's like the chicken thing, but then like with the mill. So there's gonna be like items scattered around that I need to collect. Oh, and you can actually see which ones: fences, levers strings and trip wires and if you probably like have two or three of each or maybe just one of each then you are able to rebuild the windmill okie dong let's see if i can find any i haven't seen any yet Maybe that's because I I feel like I've already walked past like ten of them. <laughs> oh well. Um. Oh, I thought that was one of them. No. Whoa. Okay, this is harder than I thought. This is harder than I thought to be honest. Um. Wow, where are they? Like, I've already explored half the map. It may seem very confusing to you where I'm all going. But, like, I pretty much know the map now. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know where they are. Like, are they gonna be, like, somewhere here? I think they'll be in like chests. What does that button do? Not much, apparently. Okay, I can't actually take fire damage. That's too bad. I was planning on dying today. Um, okay. Let's check it out. Is there gonna be anything I need in any of these barrels? No. Oh, bunk bed. Ah! One fence. Wow, that was really well hidden. You have to come all the way like in this, up and in this building to search for that. Ooh. Now, do you think they pull off the same trick here? Do you need to go like upstairs in this building? Do you reckon? Like that was well hidden though. I'm gonna leave that one open. <laughs> um. That was like really well hidden. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. How am I ever gonna find all of these? <laughs> Good gosh, where are these things? I'm like having extremely big troubles finding them. Like, wow. <laughs> they are hidden really, really well. I feel like I've already ran over the entire map. I haven't. I've only found the one, which is the one that I found on camera earlier. But like, where are they? They are hidden way too well for me. I'm gonna assume that they're not in here. I mean, I did already look in here a bit. I don't be mean of them if they hid it in there. Although, like, where else are they gonna be? And I've also, like, sort of, I guess, checked every sort of building thing. Or at least most building things. I'm trying to check every building. Because that's, that's where the first one was. It was in a building. Oh, I haven't checked that one yet. Please let there be one of those things there. It could also be that I'm searching for the wrong things. 
Because what I'm searching for is an item frame with an item in it. And because that's what the first one was. But what if it's just like a lever placed somewhere? Oh, I don't know. Oh, there, there, there. Do you see those particles? Yeah. Okay. Okay. But like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. So that one was on that tree. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to get a tiny bit more confident. Plop. There we go. Um. Where are other ones going to be? What would be an other typical place for them to hide one? Oh, wow, well, I really don't know. That! There! Did you see that? Maybe you didn't see that, but I did. Yeah! Bro, in the maze. No way. Yes, but I got it! Uh-huh. Yeah, now only the last one. Okay, this is quite some time later, and I really cannot find it. So, I'm on top of the fountain, and now I'm just, like, sort of looking. Like, like this fountain, yeah. Sort of looking around, seeing... Oh! <gasps> right over there. Are those campfire particles? Those are campfire particles, I think. What was that? Do you guys see that over there? Hmm. Oh, this is hard. Knowing that I wouldn't be surprised if it was like hidden on top of the fountain itself, but it isn't. I haven't been over there yet. First, I'm going to check that. Yeah, I'm gonna check that. I wanna make sure that those are just campfire particles. If they weren't! Yes! I got you. Wait, why do I have levitation? Bruh. Yeah! The mill is repaired. Look at your boy. Boy, it's me. Just repaired a mill for people he doesn't care about. Like, the level of kindness in that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, now I think we have done three. And we need to do a fourth one. And because we need to do a fourth one... We need to actually, like, find the quest first. I don't feel like running around this place another few times. So, um... I'm gonna head onto the fountain, and then... Check where the next thing is. If I see a gold, because it's gonna be a gold block, and I can't see the stand on top of there for some reason. Okay. Eyes peeled for a gold block. I found it. It's at the cows. So our last challenge is to do with cows. Let me tell you something about Whoa, how far that's birth. a lot. <laughs> oh, it Gardner. might seem a bit funny, but it's quite a serious thing. 1140 problem. to 1112. Let me tell you something about cow farts and birds. Haha, <laughs> it might seem a bit funny, but that's quite a serious problem. Cow farts and birds contain a lot of different things, but the most methane important and damaging right thing contains is methane. Methane is a uh, gas that is pretty methane bad for our environment, for to the point where it's that's, that's insane, right? able to change the things in our world. Our methane is one of the main resources, uh, reasons for global warming. That's insane, right? The more reason to eat more vegetables. 
plant sunflowers in the dirt and use the water bucket to grow them. Well, I was hoping I'll get to kill the cows. But yeah, you know, that makes sense. Um, I live in the Netherlands myself. I don't know if you've been like following the news. It's been more in the past, like more 2018, 2019. But yeah, so that's been going a lot in the Netherlands. Um, just like controversy with farmers. The Netherlands not wanting farmers to have less um, less cows, with the farmers not wanting that, etc., etc. Um, that stuff, that's more politics and stuff. Pretty boring, but also interesting and important. And I was just running to the storage to get sunflower fields, sunflower seeds, sorry, whilst they just popped into my inventory. Okay. So that's a one, a two, a three, and then a one, two, three. Now, it honestly felt like these quests were getting harder and harder as it went on. But if the quest is literally to grow these sunflowers, then that's pretty easy. That's pretty easy. Then it's just like, quest started, quest done. Oh, look at that! Our sunflowers are actually growing. So, after growing our beautiful sunflowers, Someone joined the game. <laughs> I um, forgot to turn off the uh, multiplayer. Anyways, all quests completed. As you can see, all quests have been completed. Some flowers have been grown. They um also died again because that actually happens after some time. Other things grow, they actually die or sort of despawn, things like that. Um. So it doesn't cause too much lag and clog up the entire world. Anyways, now you have actually sort of come to the end of this thing. And now it is your world to play. So you can visit each and every one of these stations. Learn about all the cool facts. As you can see about strawberries, blueberries, blackberries. By the way, these are the Latin names if you're wondering um after this so blueberry comes from cyanococcus um strawberry arbutus unido and blackberry rubus you know um well if you, if you didn't know that all, all plants originally have a latin name and the latin names are the universal names and then blackberry is the english name of that, um, but universally they'll be called Rubus. Anyways, um, we did a lot today, and it was very fun, and now I'm not going to continue on camera with um, grabbing things from the storage room, playing around with planting things and seeing how they turn out. That is for you to do if you download the map. And by the way, you can also already start planting things and learning cool facts about plants um, even if you don't complete the quest you can do that immediately but you can complete the quests as well anyways um, that is sort of the end i guess of today's video but this is a review so i will give this a rating and here we have cubecraft uh, it was made by Cubecraft. You can download it for yourself for free um, in the Minecraft marketplace. Completely free. Anyways, um, yeah, if there's a trailer for this on YouTube, which I think there is, then there will be a link to that down in the description as well. Anyways, I need to give this a rating. And I'm going to rate this a 7 out of 10 for a couple of reasons. Now those reasons being, um, just completely the doors. The doors are fantastic. No, I'm just kidding. Well, it's because of the way how educational this is with the quiz and how nicely like this whole introduction was. The introduction from when you go in, um, learn about this, take the quiz and are in here, it is absolutely great. That's a 10 out of 10. Until you get out here, then some things are sort of unclear, and there isn't, like, you sort of have to figure it out. 
And I hope that this video, if you watched it, then that'll also hopefully help you figure out how everything works um, and what the quests are, where they are, and things like that. Anyways, um, it's also really cool how you can um, learn facts about plants. If you're wondering why, then this is because this is a specific educational map. So it's completely for education purposes by Qcraft. Um, well, yeah, it's a 7 out of 10. So it's, it's a really good map. It's great fun to play on. Um, and you can just continue playing on this forever. Learning every single fact about all the plants. Then actually planting them as well. In the spots they can be planted in. Watering them. And doing everything. So especially if you're a plant lover, this is a great map for you. Anyways, um, thank you ever so much for watching. And I hope to see you again in the next one. Oh, and if you have any other app maps you would like me to review, then let me know with a comment down below. Anyways, thank you ever so much for watching. And uh, yeah, bye-bye.